go back in time and go visit Eli, give him one last hug and kiss, one last, one last time of seeing that big toothless smile, one last time of hearing his giggles, one last time of saying good night, pumpkin. In court today, loved ones of six-year-old Eli Hart sharing their grief and anger as his mother, now a convicted murderer, is sentenced to a mandatory life sentence in prison. Emotions running high on all sides, including from the mother herself, who had a final outburst before heading off to prison. And it made for an explosive sentencing to wrap up a horrific case. Let's get right to our Paul Bloom, who was in court this morning. Paul, so much pain, so much anguish with the murder of this young child. Randy and Kelsey, really no words here. Eli Hart's father just too shattered to even speak at sentencing today. Instead, his new wife read their victim impact statement about how the youngster was everything, the center of their world. It was a sentiment shared by other loved ones we heard from on Thursday. Eli will forever be missed by so many people that loved him. He will forever and always be in our hearts. For Nikita Kronberg, Eli Hart was initially a cousin's child. But she told the court he became a son when she and her husband fostered the boy a couple years ago. She's now left with nightmares trying to make sense of the unimaginable Eli murdered by his own mom. Why would she kill Eli? If she didn't want him, she should have given him to Tori. Nikita blames herself for what happened. Jalissa Thaller shooting the child nine times with a shotgun amid a contentious custody dispute with Eli's dad, Tori Hart. Police making the horrific discovery after stopping Thaller in a heavily damaged vehicle with the back windshield blown out last May. Eli's body was there in the trunk, the murder weapon, right alongside. Authorities would piece the case together following the evidence across multiple crime scenes here at Lake Minnetonka, all the way to a first-degree murder conviction. The case file included these surveillance photos of Thaller and Eli leaving her apartment building together for the final time. Body camera images of Thaller during the traffic stop, as well as her web searches to establish premeditation. Quote, how much blood can a six-year-old lose? And while Judge Jay Quam handed down the mandatory life sentence with no possibility of release, the now 29-year-old wanted to get the last word. Yes, I would like to say something. Go ahead. Um, I'm innocent. Thank you all. You're garbage. That's all we're on. And a couple of final points here. Eli Hart's father has a wrongful death lawsuit pending against Dakota County Child Protective Services, blaming them for returning the boy to his mother during their custody dispute. Also, the family trying their best to make something positive out of all of this. They've launched a fundraising effort to bring awareness to children in the foster care system and to help raise some money for a memorial playground in Eli Hart's name out in Mound. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.